you again? I thought I told you to get lost. I told you I wouldn't take no for an answer. Well, money usually makes me roll over, but not this time, sister. Well, I have the money, and a bit more to sweeten the pot. No amount of money can get me to take this job. I think you'll change your mind after I've told you what I know. I thought I told you to get lost. I told you I wouldn't take no for an answer. Well, money usually makes me roll over, but not this time, sister. Well, I have the money, and a bit more to sweeten the pot. No amount of money can get me to take this job. I think you'll change your mind after I've told you what I know. at our set for our little film noir in iClone. As you can see, uh, the lights have been turned up so we can see what's going on. We've taken down some of the walls. But basically, it's uh, very simple and uh, only build models for what you're going to see. You don't need to build a model or build any detail if you're not going to see it with the camera. And uh, that's what we've got here. Uh, it's just simply a room, and we've got the window. We can look out and see some images of buildings and uh, a hallway, a very simple hallway. Uh, but as I said, I've removed a few of the walls so you can see what's going on. Here's the little film noir scene we just saw with our uh, femme fatale waiting for the private eye to come through the door. I have their uh, exchange and dialogue, and uh, what I would like to do is uh, discover uh, the ideal way to film this scene. Uh, obviously, iClone opens up with a preview camera, one camera. You can have as many as 16 cameras, I believe, in your scene. Uh, notice there is a new feature that is in iClone 5 and it's the uh, mini viewport. And what can happen is we can have the preview camera and the uh, and, and any other camera playing. And notice we're watching the camera move and we're seeing the preview camera in the mini viewport. You can change the size of the mini viewport and uh, position it wherever you want to on your screen, but it helps you, uh, maybe keeps you from getting lost. You can always see that preview camera or any other camera, for that matter, in the viewport. You again? I thought I told you to get lost. I told you. You again? I thought I told you to get lost. I told you. Okay, now as you watch those previous two clips, I hope you noticed that the first clip, there was no depth of field utilized. Everything was in sharp focus. The back wall, the lady in the foreground, Sam as he walks through the door. Everything is sharp. When depth of field is utilized, we're able to control what's in focus and what is out of focus and call attention to those things and add emphasis. So depth of field is a great tool to use. It's in the camera tab. You'll notice you have depth of field and you do have a show range. Now show range is a nice way of uh, showing you what is in focus and what's out if you go to your preview camera, you'll be able to see, let me turn on a work light here, you might be able to see a little better. Uh, you have two rectangles in red, and they show you where the range of focus is. The focus is always weighted to this particular rectangle, and then it falls off gradually back to this rectangle. And uh, that gives you a nice visual reference as to what's going to be in focus and what's out. iClone makes it real easy to add 
voice to your avatars. Let's take a quick look and see how we can possibly do that. I'm going to go over here and uh, find an area right here. I'm going to go over to the animation tab, look at facial animation, and this brings up a menu that allows us to import, in case you have a crazy talk from iClone, you can import audio files there. You can record directly into your computer if you have a microphone or a camera with a microphone attached. Or you can load in files, WAV files, MP3 files, or you can type in text directly. Let's put a voice to Sam here, and I'm going to use my little camera mic right here, and I'm going to record some audio. And let's try, I'm getting real tired of these crime films. I need to be doing serious drama. Maybe Shakespeare. Okay, we've got a little file there. And let's try, I'm getting real tired of these crime films. I need to be doing serious drama. Maybe Shakespeare. Now, we may not want to use all of that audio file. You noticed I had a little bit of my voice right there. So if we open up the Visit Me track and look at Sam, and let's try, I'm getting real tired. Okay, and let's try, I'm Okay, we're going to put our playhead right there. I'm going to right-click on that clip, and it may go off your screen, but there is a break command. And notice now we have broken that little bit of the audio clip off. I'm getting real tired of these crime films. I need to be doing serious drama. Maybe Shakespeare. 